Well, today's November 25th, Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving. Seems that the bee rescues never end. Today I'm at the Indiana and Ohio Railroad switching yard behind North Star Steel. Last week when it was really cold, below uh, about 25 and wind blowing, they found a small hive of bees living in a some cement forms homemade cement forms that they made so now that it's about 50 degrees today we're gonna see if we can uh, salvage these bees these are the cement forms that they were that the bees are living under they're hollow they're living underneath this bottom one that was tipped down they were disrupted when it was really cold. You can see there's some dead bees out here, some comb. I saw some honey the other day when I verified that they were bees. So we're gonna see if we can salvage them. Um, they may have survived if they wouldn't have been disrupted. It isn't that bad of a location. They were protected. So we're gonna see what we can do here. Well, I, I pulled these up. There's a lot more bees in here than I thought, but boy, they had a nice home here until humans come along. But a lot of bees, kind of chilly, they're getting honey. Some of this has been ruined. I don't know when Mr. Mouse came in here, but there's a couple of mouse nests, there's honey running, everything was pretty much really messed up. I try to smoke the heck out of them and we're gonna Pretty much just throw them in this five frame nuke box, seal the lid up, and dump them in with some other bees. Uh, a lot of bees up in here walking around it's cold they don't want to fly I do have my smoker honey trash bucket good bees bad bees Might have to go get some water. Well, I got lucky in two senses. First off, I found a hose and a water bib, and it worked, so I got my hands washed. And while I was doing that, a big gust of wind came, tipped this big board over, it would have probably cracked me right in the head, dumped a lot of these bees out on the ground, maybe I can scoop them up that way. Found the queen. I 
I, uh, I screwed an entrance reducer on here. I think it's time just to be like summertime. And I'm gonna take my entrance reducer off, put my lid on, and see what happens. If you've uh, seen any of my summer videos, the bees marching into the box, I think this is going to happen even in November. I uh, threw that queen in and they, once I slid this box up, they want to go in. I got a small entrance reducer on there. I'm going to try to make a ramp down here so they can get up easier. I was going to use a piece of my uh, Apigard trash that was in the back of my truck for a ramp I've uh, decided to make it a scoop scooped a lot of these bees up dumped them in it's going well as well as can be expected on a uh, November 25th Trying to get all the dead bees out of here so I can find the live bees from the dead bees. We got a few walking around. Some are flying. Almost like a picture swarm. Yep. I just uh, had one crawling on my pants. If you saw me jerk, yep. Took one sting in the finger earlier. had my arthritis medicine for uh, a couple weeks now so that helped me with my arthritis. Still got some bees over here I'm gonna have to uh, work at getting but all in all it's going pretty good. Also nice to know I got the queen in the box earlier. She crawled down in. She did try to fly, but she kind of stayed put. Trying to pick up some of these stragglers now. Now I'm gonna have to decide what I want to do with these bees. Well, I got all the bees out of that frame, off the ground. I'm gonna have to check the bottom. There may be some more bees there. Next, I'm gonna work on this tight cluster over here. I think first what I'm gonna do is scrape up most of this honey and wax, throw it in my bucket, and then work around here where the bees are and just kind of throw them in my box. It's gonna be my plane of attack here. I'm gonna get all this stuff I'm trying to move as many bees on the comb as possible, that way I don't have to scoop them up.
excited. Girls in the box are revving up. I pitch them in this box, my nuke box here. Nobody comes up. They uh, they must know where the heat source is. Slide my lid back on here. Got a couple girls flying. Just a few down at the entrance. Most of them have made their way in. By the time I get all this stuff cleaned up, my hands washed, I'll strap my lid down. And I'm done. Well, just as I finished, we started the engine up. I got everything boxed up, strapped down, a couple loose bees. We're gonna take them home and see what happens. Well, it's Saturday morning. The bees spent the afternoon and night in my truck, all bundled up. Watching the earlier video, you probably noticed there were some bees on the back of my coat. I went to take them off. They were still there. I just kind of folded them in. Hopefully they're still alive. And I'm also going to have to get the bees out that are clustered around a, a screen vent like this on the bottom. Uh, they're going to spend the winter here. I'm going to put some more honey in for them. I got some scrap cut comb honey. I'm just going to load this box up with honey, I think. I'm gonna insulate it, slide it over next to this other one, try to keep them as warm as possible and uh, see if they live over winter. Well, they gotta get a little smarter because if they stay hung on, on the inner cover like this all winter, they're gonna starve to death. We're gonna see if there's still some bees in my coat. I didn't see too many bees flying around in my pickup. Uh, they want—they must have wandered off. I don't see them. They'll probably be inside my coat the next time I wear it. I don't see them. They must have wandered off. They're probably uh, dead in the back of my truck now. Uh, that's what happens when you hitchhike. So I'm gonna take all my duct tape off. There's the first batch. Uh, that not look too bad for wear. These girls inside don't like being bumped around. Just gonna just gonna brush them off. with the big mess I got leaking honey honey's leaking out the bottom at least we caught some of it put back to good use here let somebody eat it keep everybody inside I'll leave this outside supposed to be a nice day today I left these uh Clean it up. And of course, there's still bees on the underneath. Guess I'm gonna have to put them on that lid. Everybody's pretty slow today. Kind of do the same thing. I brushed them on the after a couple bumps. Probably not real happy with me.
poor girl, you got stuck in the honey. And I feel sorry for the ones that fell off, so I'll maybe pick them up, put them back in. They don't stick to my fingers too bad. I know there's a few more out here. New update on the swarm from the Indiana and Ohio Railroad. It's Tuesday afternoon, November 29th. The bees have been doing some housekeeping. They've kicked out some of this wax, some of the dead bees that are inside. They're doing housekeeping. Sunday it rained all day. I'm gonna put this honey on the bees. To all my beekeeping friends, they pretty much know that plan A very seldom goes the way it's supposed to. Even though we humans think that's the way it should go. The bees have decided not to cluster on my honey, but they're all clustered here on the lid. So they're all conjugated there. There is some bees down there. I think they're gathering honey. Oh, they're trying to draw some comb up there. Doing a lot of work for nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them some capped honey that I have. It's always surprising how uh, energetic these bees are. Sorry girls. So since Friday they've made that much wax. I knocked them all off. What my goal is is just kind of fill this bottom box with some of their wax and honey. This is all some of theirs. That way they can move it if they want to. They can live down below. They, they're going to be able to pick where they want to cluster up, I guess. Good work, girls. Sorry about that. All I have to do now is put a lid on this. Wish them well. Good luck, girls. Hope to see you in the spring.